Hey guys, Ryan with RG Tech here. Today we are going to be looking at a comparison between the H220 uh, X2 Prestige by Swift Tech and the EK Waterblocks A240G Fluid Gaming Kit uh, review I did on the Overclock.net YouTube channel. So you might want to check out that review. I'll put a uh, link in the description below. But uh, but basically, when you're looking at these two kits, they are competitors in the water cooling realm um, basically the H220 X2 prestige kit includes two noise blocker fans which are more premium fans um, they are PWM controlled you do get compression fittings so you do get the uh, one compression fitting here there's a compression fitting underneath here and then you do get two 45 degree angle um, uh, compression fittings for your CPU block I had a GTX 1080-1070 Komodo um, water block by Swift Tech already laying around, so I threw that in the loop to kind of compare it, but you can get away, if you were going to do a price comparison shopping, um, you can get away with a uh, H220X2 non-prestige model. It basically, you're not going to get the fans, you're not going to get the compression fittings, but it'll still perform admirably the same. So, um, with that said... We're going to move over to temps here. So I've been running uh, Unigen Heaven for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes now. And um, temperatures seem to level out 48 degrees on the CPU. The package is running about 54, 53, 4.7 gigahertz on the overclock on the Intel i7 uh, 6700K with 1.325 volts. Um, mind, do not mind uh, CPU Z correct voltage is with VGA Elite. So 3.1.325 or volts is the correct voltage. Um, 1898 on the GTX 1080 with 43, 44C. Currently right now I have voltage cranked all the way to the max. Uh, 120 uh, for the percent for the power target and then temperature target 72 or 92 rather. Um, but in terms of temperatures like I said, GPU clock was 1898 pegged out. Max it was got up to was 46 degrees over to the CPU. Um, again, like I said, 4.7 gigahertz. Max it got was 73 degrees. So I did run um, 8064, or Ida 64 rather, pardon me. Um, but I just wanted to see what it would max out. It wasn't obscene, but... Um, it's a pretty good cooler when you think about it. It's amazing what a 240 millimeter radiator will actually cool. Um, I did a little price shopping here. If you look, if you do the regular X2 kit and not the Prestige, you're looking at 295.83 before shipping. So given, I mean, it's about 50 bucks more expensive to run the Swift Tech kit, but I'm gonna have to hand it to Swift Tech with availability of parts right now. Basically, you're going to be able to, to upgrade your rig, add another radiator in, relatively easy. Whereas with the EK kit, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because they just announced the 360mm radiator version. So they haven't announced the availability of more, more um, fit, uh, aluminum fittings. It's it just, it's a new line. So, I mean, Swift Tech's been around a little bit longer, I would say. But in terms of price point, EK nailed this one. So... Uh, as far as everything else, I'm going to have to call it a draw between the two uh, different kits. They're both great in their own respect. Um, I do kind of like the fact the way that the reservoir uh, is on the radiator itself. It allows for less fuss on the Swift Tech kit. But I'm not saying that the EK kit wasn't bad either. So it was definitely a premium kit. Um, speaking of reservoir pump, check out this. That is a tight fit, ladies tight hmm <laughs> but yeah there's like one millimeter worth of clearance there between the GPU block GPU and the uh, pump so pretty crazy but it fits I was wondering if it was gonna fit but it fits so all right well um, that's it all I'm gonna have so if you want to toss me a like and subscribe I much appreciate that